Hello, hello, guys. ¿Cómo estamos? Bienvenidos. Bienvenidas. Okay, Joseph, just you and me. Okay, we are going to wait five minutes more. Then the others can connect it, right? We are three o'clock right now, so we are going to wait five minutes more. Just give me some minutes to open the that is that we are going to use in this class, right? Hello, Robert. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, teacher. How are you? I'm fine. Great. That's that's great to hear that, right? So, bienvenido. Vamos a esperar tres minutitos más para que los demás se puedan conectar, Roberto, y empezamos. ¿Ok? Ok, está bien. Perfect. Ahí, ahí agarra este después. Lo... ¡Mirale! Me cuentan, chicos, tell me something in English. Vamos a ver. Ahí sí. Okay, it's three minutes past three, guys. Vamos a ver qué más falta. Just three. What happened with the other ones? I'm going to send a message, right? Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, perfect. We are be right. Hello, guys. Um, Vamos a ver. Ok. Mm -hmm. One minute, ok. Just one minute. Excelente. Bienvenidos, chicos. Miren. <laughs> That's good to see that, right? Hello, Charlie. Hello, Edwin. 
el mensajito de chat que estaban. Funcionó, ¿verdad? Rapidito, mire. Funcionó, dice Robert. It works. Buenas tardes, niños. ¿Cómo me les fue este día, chicos? So, a very well day. Qué bueno, me alegro escuchar que le fue muy bien, Charlie. Vamos a ver quién nos escribe. Dice, hello, teacher. Hello. Vamos, niños. We are waiting for you guys. First class, I connect. Okay, perfect. First, ah, so it's the first time that you are connected, right? Okay. Bienvenida, entonces, Mauricio. Vamos a ver. Oh, no, no, no se ha conectado, Mauricio. Mm. Oh, sí, como no, sí, sí, sí. Thank you. Nice to meet you. You too, please connect me, right? Nice to meet you too. Okay, guys. Vaya, mire. Estamos, quiero ver, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, we are eight, and me, we are nine, right? So we can start with the class, guys. Yesterday we were talking about what? A ver quién se recuerda. Siempre me gusta hacer una review, una short review about what we were discussing before in order to pass in another topic. Remember that today is another topic for this class, and we have to be sure that you are, that you really, 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 I uh, have understood the things that we were discussing yesterday, okay? So tell me. Remember, because I tend to forget the things, right? And you have to remember to me. <laughs> Vamos, niños. Remember to me what we were discussing yesterday. Se le escucha cortado, Carlos. I don't know what happened with the audios. Yesterday, yesterday we were talking about time expressions. Okay, yesterday we were talking about time expressions. And what are time expressions? What are they useful? time expressions? A ver. Para hacer referencia a una hora, a un tiempo, a un día. Exactly. They are used to specify in which time or period of time we make an action, right? Or, or we make something or we do something. Okay. For example, we have in the morning, we have in the afternoon, we have at night, we have at noon, we have at midnight, right? We have at seven o'clock in the morning, we have a... Uh, at night a club at night right uh, or we have a, on weekends we have on um, weekdays etc 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 right so those are some time expressions that are going to help us to describe in which time or period of time we made something okay perfect so que mas chicos a ver que mas y con esas time expressions que preposiciones utilizamos a ver Generalmente. Había three preposition of time, right? By the way. At. At. at in, in, on, in, on. On. Y cuando vamos a utilizar at. No hablamos de tiempo. Ajá, cuando hablamos acerca de at night, ¿qué más? At noon. At noon. An hour in a specific. Uh -huh. An hour in a specific, right? But it's not just an hour, sino que es como eh, al mediodía, ¿verdad? A la medianoche, a tal, tal hora. ¿verdad? No es específicamente un número, sino que es el, la hora que está tácita en la palabra, ¿verdad? La medianoche, la mediodía, etcétera, etcétera. O al, en la noche, ¿verdad? Ahora bien, ¿cuándo vamos a ocupar in? 
what we talk about a period of time a period of time in the morning in the afternoon in what in the what the evening in the evening, evening etc etc muy bien excelente y cuando vamos a ocupar on on the weekend days of the week weekends weekdays uh -huh. Also, we will be, okay, when we're talking about weekends or weekdays, etc. And also when we talk about an specific date, for example, on March 18, on March uh, 19, etc. Or 20, right? On April uh, yeah, 16, okay? When you specify the date exactly, you are going to use on, okay? When you specify just a period of time, or you specify a month, or you specify a year, but you don't specify the, the exact date you are going to use in. For example, in 1998, okay? Como estamos especificando el año, pero no estamos especificando una fecha específica. Por eso no utilizamos on. Por ejemplo, podemos decir, ¿cuándo cumples año? Ah, in, in March, right? En marzo, ¿verdad? Pero este, no estás especificando el, exactamente la fecha en la cual vos estás, ocupa, estás cumpliendo año. ¿verdad? Por eso es que ocupamos in, porque es un periodo de tiempo, pero no se sabe en qué fecha exactamente. Pero si en cual contrario tenemos on March 18, estamos especificando la fecha y el mes, ¿verdad? entonces por eso ocupamos on, ¿ok? Esto lo vimos en periodos anteriores. I don't know if you remember that, right? Bueno, yo sí lo vi, lo puse por ahí, pero no sé si estuvieron conmigo algunos, si estuvieron conmigo, algo otro sí, ¿verdad? Creo, I guess, but I'm not sure. But we are going to make just a review, a short review, just to remember that, okay? Bueno, entonces, niños, así es como vamos a manejar las propositions y las time expressions, que son las que nos ayudan a especificar el tiempo en el cual se hace una acción. Ok, perfecto. Vamos a hablar el día de ahora, chicos, acerca de los comparativos, ¿ok? Ese es el nuevo tema. Pero antes, quiero avanzar con lo, del, con lo de la, todavía lo del tema de las time expressions que estamos en el manual. Ayer nos quedamos en qué página, chicos. Quiero ver, déjenme ver. Aquí vamos a ver, vamos a ver dónde nos quedamos. Just give me some minutes, please. I'm going to open the platform to know where we were yesterday, which page we were. Vamos a ver. Más para abajo, más para abajo. Ok. So we were talking about what, what, what. Ok. Nos quedamos en la página 12, ¿verdad? Pero vamos a... Um, ok. Acá. Les voy a mostrar, chicos. Page 12. Okay. Did you see this? Okay, we were here, guys. Estuvimos haciendo esta, la complete this, y decíamos que I get out, at, bla, 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 bla. Eso fue lo último que hicimos, okay? Okay. Ahora vamos con lo siguiente. Vamos a empezar esta clase, pues, contestando las siguientes preguntas. What days do you get up early or late? What day do you get up early or late? A ver, think about it. Or we make it in pairs. ¿Lo quieren hacer en parejas o quieren hacerlo así en general? In general. In general, okay, perfect. Bye, uh huh. What days do you get up early? Uh, yeah, in my case. Uh huh. Every week is different. 
uh -huh. because we one week we are going to be in the night and one week we are going to be in the morning. So uh -huh. for ex for example, this week uh we're going to be in the day. So I I'm gonna be early tomorrow. Mm -hmm. uh, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. And I will I will wake up late or get up late and uh, <laughs> morning and Tuesday of the next week. Okay, perfect. So that's so that means that days you are going to get up early or you are going to get up late, right? Okay, right. perfect. Vaya, para los demás chicos. Dos preguntitas más, dos, dos que me respondan. La primera, please. Dos personitas más, please. Kevin, what days do you get up early or late? Eh, es lo mismo que dijo el compañero. <laughs> It's the same, right? <laughs> All of you is going to say the same, right? <laughs> Do you have the same schedule? What? Ustedes tienen el mismo horario. Ah, okay, perfect. Sí, me tengo que levantar temprano. Todos estos cinco días, mañana de cinco días, y de descansar lunes y martes. Ah, okay. Ok, entonces esta no válida, right? Porque son lo mismo, entonces. Entonces vamos con la número dos. Dice, what are two things you do before eight in the morning? What are the two things that you do before eight in the morning? A ver, chicos, volunteers. Volunteers. Or I choose. Victims. Victims. Okay, perfect. Edwin, okay, Edwin. What are the two things you do before eight in the morning? For example, brush my teeth. Uh -huh, I brush my teeth. And take a shower. And take a shower, right? Okay, perfect. Ahora pregúntemele la misma preguntita a otro chico, please, Edwin. Oh, yeah. A ver quiénes están conectados. <risa> Jaycee. Ok, Jaycee. Ajá, hágamele la pregunta, please. What are two things you do before eight in the morning? What are the two things you do before eight in the morning, Jay-Z? Jay-Z. Hi, hi, teacher. Can you repeat me again the question, please? Okay. What are the two things you do before eight in the morning? ¿Cuáles son las dos cosas que usted hace antes de las ocho en la mañana, en las mañanas? Um, I, I get up uh -huh. um, around 5 a.m. Uh -huh. And next, I take a shower. Okay. Uh, And around the five and a half I am. Mm -hmm. After that, uh, I take um, my breakfast. Ok, perfect. Muy bien. Excelente. JC. Ahora vamos con la número tres. What are three things you do on Saturdays mornings, guys? Maximiliano, okay, Maximiliano, yo lo veo ansioso que usted quiere participar, right? <laughs> you want to participate, y usted dice, pregunto. <laughs> okay, go ahead. <laughs> well, um, 
for the next three months, the things that uh, I'm gonna do on Saturday, on Saturday, it's it's work <laughs> because uh, it's gonna be my work day. So I think I, I get up, I take a shower, I prepare to go to work and I take the bus to, to work. Then I return and it's the same schedule for the, the same activity, next three right? months. <laughs> okay, yes. perfect, good, excellent. Ahora dame la preguntita a alguien más, please. Alguien que no haya participado, Maximiliano. Roberto. Okay, Robert, you're the lucky one. Participó. Ya participó. Ya participó. <laughs> What? Okay, Robert. What are the three things you do on Saturday mornings? Saturday in the morning, I get up at, at five. Um, I take my breakfast and I watch TV. Okay, perfect, good, excellent. Ahora, Robert, hágame la misma preguntita a Carlos Enrique Mendoza Orellana, please. Carlos Enrique Orellana Mendoza. What are three things do you, you do on Saturday morning? Vamos, Charlie. I get up early in the morning. Uh -huh. Can you hear me, teacher? More or less, okay. More or less. Uh, what are the what are three things you do on Saturday mornings? ¿Cuáles son las tres cosas que se hace los sábados en la mañana? I get up early in the morning. Mm -hmm. I brush my teeth. And mm -hmm. I go to the swimming pool. Okay, perfect. Good. Ahora hágamele la última pregunta a alguien más. Alguien que no haya pasado ahorita. What do you do, on, do only on Sundays? Esa me la va a hacer. Please. I ask for Marlon. Uh -huh. Marvin Arnoldo. Uh-huh. Sorry. Mar Marvin Arnoldo Marvin Caballero. Ajá, Arnold. uh -huh, Marvin. Arnoldo. Internet connection is too slow in this in this day. Yes, I know. I hear you that you have problems with the obvious, right? Maybe the signal, right? Okay, so I'm going to ask you for you, okay? Eh, vamos a preguntarle a Héctor Manuel Ramos Arroyo, right? What do you do only on Sundays, Héctor? Uh, Sunday is... Uh, yeah. Play in the... Football, mm -hmm. playing the, the, the basketball, in, mm -hmm. in play, entre, entre otras cosas. Ok, perfecto. Good, excellent. Bueno, niños, entonces así, ¿verdad? Los verdes cuando interactuamos mucho, sí como que se nos apaga la cuestión, ¿verdad? Entonces, no sé si es mi... My projection, right? But I don't know why, right? Necesito que hablemos. Acuérdense que the most you practice, the most you learn. If you practice vocabulary words, you are going to develop your fluency. Okay? Remember that. So try to speak as much as you can, right? Okay. Bueno, vamos a pasar un poquito lo del schedule, porque ya más o menos me lo dijeron, ¿verdad? Aprovechando la pregunta, pues algunos me dijeron, ah, a las siete o tal cosa, a las cinco y media o tal cosa, etc., etc., right? So it that fits in that activity. So we got two verbs in a step, right? Okay, so let's see. Here we have a reading, guys. Why do you need a job? 
Let's see these questions. What do you consider you need a job, guys? ¿Por qué usted considera que necesita un trabajo? A ver. Tell me, explain me in English. Try to say your reason. Why do you need a job? Because there are bills to pay. Because there are responsibilities and bills to pay. Okay, excellent. Just one reason. Okay, let's see the other one, guys. Otra, niños. ¿Por qué usted considera que necesita un trabajo? Recuerden que este es para razones y se responde generalmente con because. Because I need to because, pay. Uh -huh. because, eh, because I need to um, have money to uh -huh. buy uh, the food. Okay, and perfect. Clothes for uh -huh. my family. Uh -huh, exactly, right? Muy bien, excelente, JC. Mire, tratemos, ¿verdad? Tratemos. Acordemos que tenemos que utilizar el vocabulario que ya tenemos y el que vamos adquiriendo paso a paso, ¿ok? Don't be afraid. Esto es así. This is the process of learning, ¿ok? Todos nos equivocamos, incluso hasta la teacher se equivoca y todos aprendemos algo nuevo cada día también, ¿ok? Así que no sean temerosos de eso. Tirémonos, aventémonos, como dicen, ¿verdad? Porque si no nos aventamos, no vamos a ver si lo aprendemos o no lo aprendemos, ¿ok? And this is the process. Okay, Kevin, what do you need a job? Es que yo te siento, Kevin, que no quieres hablar a mí. Necesito que me hables, please. <laughs> Hablame, please. <laughs> Kevin, please connect the audio, please, the microphone. I think I have many reasons. Mm -hmm. okay. Why? <laughs> I like money. <laughs> Because I like money. Yes, that's that's right. Tiene razón. A todos nos gusta el dinero. Si no nos gusta comprarnos algo, de vez en cuando. Yes, I like to buy many things. Yes, right. I like to buy me something from time to time, right? From time to time, de vez en cuando, right? Así, así, ¿verdad? Entonces usted puede comprarse un su gustito, ¿verdad? No tan seguido, pero sí, ¿verdad? Y se siente súper bien. In my case, I don't know why. <laughs> okay, next. Who else? Vamos a ver. What do you need a job, Robert? What do you consider you need a job? I need money by to pay my, my house. Okay, that's an important reason. I need to get money to pay my house. And this is a goal that you Almost everybody has, right? Esa es una meta que casi la mayoría tenemos, ¿verdad? Por no decir todos, right? Ok, muy yeah. bien. Excelente razón. Vamos a ver. Walter, are you there? Walter. No. Héctor, are you there? Yes, teacher. Ok, Héctor. What do you, why do you need a job? ¿Por qué necesita un trabajo? Why do you need a job? Para, como le quise decir. No sé cómo decirlo, pero sería como para poder, este, no tengo la, la palabra así directamente la expresión en inglés, pero sería como para poder solventar nuestras aranas y poder obtener una casa. Ah, because I need to pay sí, yeah. things, right? Puede ser para, necesito para pagar cosas, ¿verdad? O something like this sí. that you have, right? Can you, right? Okay, perfect. Good reason. Okay, Edwin, why do you need a job, Edwin? Yo, Edwin, Bien impaciente por contestar esa pregunta. Yo lo veo ahí que quiere participar también. Ajá. Sí, conseguir el money. ¿Qué más? Conseguir el buy clothes and a car. 
Ah, okay, that's important, right? That's your your that's that's you want, right? Because I need to pay what? I need to get money to pay the bills, to buy clothes, and also buy a car, right? Okay, perfect. Marvin Arnoldo, why do you need a job? Um because because we need money to buy food. Mm -hmm. Because I you need money to buy food, right? Almost everybody needs that, right? Alguien más que quiera participar? Someone else? Mm, teacher. Tell me. I need a job because I have two daughters. Ah, okay. So you have a responsibility. Hello, girls. How are you? <laughs> That's the most important, right, Charlie? Yes, it is. <laughs> that is right. Ya no es tu sueldo. Ahora sé. I'm sorry, but I had to say you. Uh, no, that's true. When we have a, a daughter or a son, almost every almost everything is that where you, right? Que fue tuyo or was you was for you. Now is for them, right? Yes, es siempre, right? Ok, vaya, vamos a entrar entonces a la reading, guys. Después de que ya entramos con la pregunta, right? Dice, scan the profiles, who is in high school, who is in the college, and who is in the new parents? He, who is a new parent? These people need show. Read about their schedules, experience, and why they need a job. Ok, so let's see. Let's read. Vamos a ver. I need some volunteers. Que me ayuden a leer. Y los demás lo vamos a ir siguiendo con la mente, ¿ok? Vamos a ir leyendo los otros. I need volunteers or victims. Can I? Yes, of course. Excellent. Ok. Teresa Glass. I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I study art. I have class all day on Monday. Wednesday and Friday mm -hmm. and on Tuesday and Thursday morning I usually study on weekends I don't have any experience but I can learn quickly quickly okay perfect so I was away next one who tell me the next one Volunteers or victims? Edwin, see Edwin, Edwin, vamos a ver, you can do it. Number two. Kelly uh, Thomas. My husband and I have a new baby. He makes a good salary, but we don't save very much money. We want to save some money to buy a house. I take care of the baby, so I need a job I can do at home. I know how to save and I have a computer. Okay, perfect. Excellent. Next, volunteers. Kevin, Kevin, quiere participar, Kevin. Vamos, Kevin, te tengo que hacer hablar. Kevin, vamos, <laughs> Kevin, come on. Uh, I'm just staying now and I don't get it. And other ones? from my parents anymore. I need to earn some money because I like to go out mm -hmm. on the weekend with my friends. I go to school every day from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. at half p.m. My father's own a restaurant, so I know I need about restaurant work. Ok, perfect. Bye. Ahora bien, vamos a responder. ¿Quién es el que es, es nuevo? Es un, es un, se hizo padre nuevo, últimamente, perdón. Karen es el Thomas. Karen Thomas. Ok, ¿y qué pasó con Karen Thomas? ¿Qué le pasa a ella? Uh -huh. She needs to work because they don't save enough money uh -huh. and they need to save money to buy a house. Uh -huh. So she wants to work to save money 
but she take care of the baby, so she need to work from home. Uh -huh. And she says she is specialized in typing mm -hmm. and she have a computer. Okay, perfect. Excellent. That's good. Thank you so much. Good job. Next, what happened with Teresa Glass? Vamos a ver, ahora voy a escoger víctimas. No, ya vi que necesito escoger víctimas, right? Vamos a ver quién se me está escondiendo. <laughs> Carlos, ah, Carlos va manejando. Carlos, Enrique, estás driving, right? Okay, Marvin. Marvin, yo lo siento que usted quiere participar. What happened with Teresa Glass, right? ¿Qué pasó con Teresa? I don't have time to work, but I need a job because college is very expensive. I student and have class. I die on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, and on Thursday and Thursday morning. I usually study on weekends. I don't have any expenses, but I can Lil quickly. Mm -hmm. Quickly. Ok, pero ¿qué, ¿qué dice la lectura en general? In brief, ¿qué dice el artículo? O el párrafo de Teresa Glass. What is talking about? In Spanish. If you can in English, <laughs> si puede en inglés, right? Doesn't matter. Mm, que no tiene tiempo de trabajar. Uh -huh. She doesn't have time to work. Pero necesita, pero necesita trabajo. Mm -hmm. But if she needs to work or she needs a job, right? Why is the reason? Oh, what is the reason? Why? Mm -hmm. ¿Por qué ella necesita trabajar? Because college. Uh -huh, because the college, right? Repeat. College. Mm -hmm. College, I study. Uh -huh, she's studying at college and it's very... Expensive. Expensive, right? It costs a lot. So she needs extra money to pay her scholarships, right? O sus colegiaturas. Entonces, por eso es que ella necesita trabajar. Ahora bien, ¿qué pasa con Lamar Andrews? A ver, guys. Thank you so much, Marvin. Excellent. Vamos a ver qué pasa con Lamar Andrews. Volunteers or victims? Roberto, yo sé que tú quieres hablar, Robert. Vamos, Robert. ¿Qué pasa con Lover Andrews? <ríe> Hoy se me van a correr, no la dicho mucho, lo está preguntando. <ríe> Ojalá no se conecte en la siguiente clase. <ríe> I just kidding. No, miren, eso es bueno. Sigamos, sigamos analizando y eso nos va a ayudar para tener más vocabulario y empezar a sacar todo lo que tenemos en nuestra mente, right? ¿Ok? Vamos, Robert. You can do it. Usted puede, Robert. He is 16 now. Mm -hmm. And he needed to earn this some money. Uh -huh. um, he's like to go with your friends. Uh -huh. and, and he go to school every day. Uh-huh. ¿Qué pasa con Lamar? Lamar already has, already is 16, right? But he doesn't want uh, to be allowance from his parents anymore, right? It is allowance, ser mantenido, right? Por sus padres, okay? O ser, ¿qué? Sí, mantenido, right? That's the, 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 the word. So you feel, but it's still the word, right? Se ha mantenido por sus padres, entonces quiere ser como más independiente, right? So that is the reason, right? 
He said that his parents own a restaurant and he knows a little about restaurant work. So he's thinking about what? Maybe he's thinking about open a restaurant also, right? Or manage the restaurant, right? For his parents. Maybe work for his parents, right? Ok, perfect, good, excellent. Entonces, eso es, chicos, las razones, ¿verdad? Por las cuales las personas necesitan un trabajo. Son algunas, no todas, right? And here we have more vocabulary words that we are going to use when someone asks ask us, valga la redundancia, why we need a job. Why do these people need jobs? So, we are going to say, to save money, to earn money for college, to go out, to go out on the weekend, or to buy a house, right? For example, Teresa, why she need a job? To earn money for college. Aha, uh -huh. Teresa needs to earn money for college. college. So you are going to check it here, right? Okay, to save money, ¿quién necesita este ahorrar dinero? Teresa, Kering, or, or Lamar? Kering. Kering, right? Why? She needs to, or he needs to, save money. Buy a house. He needs to buy a house, right? So, this is number two, right? Number three. Who needs to go out on weekends? Who needs a job to go out for weekends? Lama. Lama, right? Lama, because he is 16 right now and he needs to save money and he, and she, he, want, pardon, he wants to be more independent, right? Number four, who needs a job to buy a house? Teresa, Karen, or Lama? Okay. Yeah, caring. Caring. Okay, caring, right? So let's see. So these are some uh, expressions that you can use, guys, in order to express or say what do you need a job? Maybe to save money because I need to buy a house. Some of you give me that reason, right? Algunos de ustedes me dieron esa razón, verdad? De que necesitaban ganar dinero o ahorrar dinero para comprarse su casa, right? Some of you say, I need to save money to buy a car, right? I need to save money to buy what? A computer, maybe, right? Or I need to save money to pay a scholarship from the university. Also, I need to save money to go on vacation with my family, right? Could be a reason, right? So there are a lot of uh, reasons why you need a job. And also we have to earn money for college. Maybe your daughter, maybe your uh, son, right? When he or she is going to go to the university. So you need to save money, earn money for college, right? And also to go out, to go out on weekends. Also, maybe you want to go out with your family. So you need to save money. Maybe you have a, a special occasion so you are going to celebrate. So you need to save money for that. And also to buy a house that is an important reason also, right? In my case, that's one of my goals, right? To buy my own house, right? Okay, vamos a ver. Vamos a lo siguiente, chicos. <clears throat> vamos, you said, choose the best job for each person. Explain why. Permítame voy a hacer esto. Art store clerk. Grocery store cashier, daycare assistant, waiter or waitress, office workers or work processor, right? ¿Cuál es la mejor opción para cada una de las personas que hemos visto anteriormente? Para Teresa, Kering y Lamar, de estos que tienen acá. Por ejemplo, for Kering, ¿Ah? for Kering. It's going to be word processor. Okay, word processor. Why? Because work is at home uh -huh. and the earn up is 20 bucks an 20? hour. 
per hour, right? So it's good pay, right? Bien pagado. Or well paid, right? Also. Okay, next. What is the best option for Teresa from this? ¿Qué necesitaba Teresa? A ver. She needed a uh, work in, in part time um, uh -huh. because she, she um, work is perfect in grocery store cashier. Okay. Because of uh, uh, the flexibly work. Okay, you're oh. right. She needs a, a part time job, right? And yes. he said it says that it's flexible work hours. So that means it changed, right? Or it adapted to the, your needs, right? So grocery store cashier is good for her, right? Okay, next, what is the best option for Lama? I think waiter. Okay. Because the work is evenings only and experience is a plus. And he has experience with his father and restaurant. Okay, and also office worker, I guess, right? Right. Nights and evenings, no experience is necessary, right? Yes. Maybe it could be another option, right? And also waiter or waitress, right? Also, you're right. Excellent. Vamos, chicos. Ok, vamos a ver. Acá está acerca de lo que estuvimos hablando, niños, eh, de los jobs, right? You are talking about someone at school, have a conversation. Esto es, hi, how are you? But, oh, ok, this is not going to be good for you guys. Write questions for these answers. Then use the question to interview the classmate, okay? So remember the WH words to make a specific information questions, right? What are the questions that belongs to each answer that you have here? For example, my name is Kiko, right? Kawakami, right? Kawakami. Yes, Kawakami. I don't, I don't speak Japanese, right? It's something like this, right? Okay, what is the best questions that belongs to its to its answer, right? To this answer. What's your name? What's your name? What's your name? Muy bien. And the second one, I'm from Osaka, Japan. Where are you from? Where are you from? Where are you from? Muy bien. Number three. Yes, my classmates are very interesting. My classes are very interesting. How are your classes? Come on. Who are your classes? Who are your classes? No, or maybe, ah, uh, is it your classes interesting? Son tus classes interesante? Or are your classes interesting? Yes, my classes are very interesting, right? Could be another one, right? Or another option, right? Next, my favorite class is English. What's the best? What's your favorite class? What's your favorite class? Number five. What is the best option for this answer? Is your teacher from America? Exactly. Number six. Who are your classmates? Who are your classmates, right? Okay. Number seven. Who's your best friend? Who's your best friend? Yes, you're right. Okay, perfect. Los demás? Keep in mind, right? Vamos con la siguiente. Dice, vamos a hablar un poco acerca de los jobs. ¿Se acuerdan que estuvimos hablando de nurse, receptionist? Estuvimos recordando un poco eso. The carpenter, nurse. What do you know about this job? These three things each person does. ¿Qué es lo que hace una receptionist? A ver. What does she do? Apart besides up answer the phone. Um, ¿Está sentada? ¿Cómo? 
take notes, maybe right. <laughs> take notes. Give information. Uh huh. Make a schedule for. Make the schedule for the meetings, right? For the meetings. Organize the meetings, also right? Okay, prepare and the, what? Prepare the materials uh -huh. for the meeting too. Also, also too, right? And what are a tour? What does a tour guide do? ¿Qué hace un guía turístico? A ver, piensen en tres opciones. Les voy a dar cinco minutitos porque quiero que participen también los demás. Se me quedan. Necesito que todos me hablen. ¿Ok? Vamos, chicos. Ok. Think about it. Escríbelo en el, en el cuaderno si gusta. Take notes. Y después voy a preguntar al azar. ¿Ok? Vamos. Ok, ¿cómo vamos? Can I try to share? Yes, of course, do it. I think uh, a tourist uh, operator or tourist guide uh -huh. prepare travel arrangements uh -huh. and creation a tourist package uh -huh. and budgeting of tourist operations. Ok, create a uh tourist package, right? Or maybe he or she describe the travel during the travel, what they are going to find there, right? Or also guide to the tourists, right? By the way. Y a los turistas. Okay, perfect. Good, excellent. Vamos a ver. Who wants to talk about carpenter? Ya me vale, here it is again. La carita que, que no venía. Kevin, you're the lucky one. Ya no te llamo. 
No es por molestar, es porque usted me desarrolle la habla, Kevin. <laughs> no me voy a tomar a mal, ¿ok? What does a carpenter do, right, Kevin? They may many things. Uh huh. Close table and uh -huh. many things. Construct <laughs> houses, right? Or maybe uh, also build buildings, by the way, right? Maybe, right? Build, or make something with the, with the wood, the, right? No, it's a carpenter, right? No, it's a builder. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe wall structures. Uh huh. Maybe wood structures, muy bien. It depends of the of the country, because in the United States they build a house. They build the house with with wood, but right? In summer they make other things. They make chairs, tables, doors, mm -hmm. and closets and those closets, etc. Et okay, perfect, excellent, good. Ahora, what about a nurse? What does she mean, or what does she do? Take care of people. Care uh -huh. patients. Maybe they care about patients, maybe, or they care about people. She works at a hospital, also, right? right. What else? She administrates medicine. Uh huh. She or he administrates medicines, or maybe take what proof? Right? Uh, Toma pruebas de laboratorio. For example, she's right, a doctor, like doctor assistant. Uh -huh. yes. Oh, maybe she is an assistant, doctor assistant. Muy bien. Muy bien. Muy bien, excelente. Y eso es lo que podemos ir revisando, ¿verdad? Lo que hacen los demás. Acá solamente tenemos cuatro professions and we can add more, right? For example, what does a doctor do, right? It's something related with a nurse, right? Also. Or maybe yeah. a secretary. It's like uh, the, the what the reception is, yes. or maybe a lawyer, right? What does or she do, right? Or a judge also, right? Okay, so let's see. This is a listening. Pero creo que lo tengo aquí. I don't know if I have it. Just let me check. Is listening. Déjenme ver. Les voy a dejar de compartir un ratito y luego vamos a lo siguiente. Ya casi llegamos a lo de la clase. No quiero entrar a la clase porque si no lo voy a confundir. No hemos terminado todavía lo de la, la clase anterior. That is why. Ok. Solo déjenme ver. Ese es el audio, right? Vamos a ver. Which do you prefer? Conversation. Test control. Quiero ver. Let me see. No, no, it's... no, it's not that, right? I don't have it yet, right? So we're going to pass it because I don't have it. It's you know disponibility, right? Vamos a ver entonces. Vamos a pasar así. Okay, so we have uh listening. Practice the questions in part eight. Ask additional questions, right? What do you do? Where do you work or study? How do you like your job class or class, right? Or what do you do after work or school? So what do you do in that? Could you answer these questions, guys? Yes. Okay, perfect. Así lo hacemos, solo lo hacemos en pareja. Yo creo que solo es como, como un muy poquito. O pasamos a la clase ya. Lo veo ya así. Mucho hemos hablado hoy. Y ya lo veo como que no, ya no quiero que me pregunte. Yes, ask me more. <laughs> ask more. Ok, ask more. Ok, perfecto. ¿Quieren hablar entonces? Yes. Yes. Ok. <laughs> yes. <laughs> vale, ok. Entonces, yo les voy a hacer la pregunta a ustedes, se las hacen a ustedes mismos. Lo voy a poner en payworks, entonces. No hemos visto el payword. Payword. Vale, tenemos este survey también, chicos, que dice, what time do you get up? What do you do after you get up? 
vamos a matar dos pájaros en tiro y vamos a resolver estas de arriba que están en A y vamos a resolver las de abajo que están en A también, pero es más que todo acerca del, de cuando usted se levanta, right? O cuando usted se va a la cama. Y esas son en general también. Las vamos a responder las nueve preguntitas de un solo. Para ponerlas a trabajar en break up room, porque si las pongo a trabajar solo por cinco o cuatro, es como que... No, right. Entonces vamos a, a responder ello y luego lo vamos a practicar, ¿ok? Usted se va a preguntar con su compañero o compañera y luego switch, ¿ok? ¿Cuál es switch? Change. Change, right. Ok, perfecto. Vamos a ver. We are 13. Ah, ok, perfecto. So we are going to make six. Here we go. Sure. Yeah. If I don't remember wrong, we have two that are only listening. Ah, but okay. If you are in this in this problem, right? This is the problem, right? I'm going to change. Okay. Okay. If you don't have answer from your partner, I'm going to change to another group. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Bye, so I see. Get in, please. And take pictures before, right? Remember that you are going to use it. Robert, lo cambias a la cuatro, por favor, unámonos. Excelente. Vamos a ver, JC. Excelente. What happened? ¿Qué pasó? Que bien se salió. Oscar, Mauricio, unámonos, please.
Hello, ¿cómo vamos, chicos? Ay, qué chido. Are you practicing? Hola. <laughs> Guys. Hola. You need more time. Yes, right? You are working that, right? Sí. Yes. Ok, perfecto. Entonces me voy a ir a chequear los demás grupos. En lo que les doy más chance. Ok. okay. Thank you.
to see the teacher is very, how do I say this? She tried to make us to talk a lot. Why? Because she wants for us to practice. And that is going to make us learn a lot of things, learn vocabulary, learn form to express. And this conversation we're having right now is the proof that is we are learning little by little. So I think in the future, maybe we, we will see again. And I appreciate this conversation because we are talking a lot of things, not about the, the questions that we already did, but it's going to make us uh, gain a lot. So keep going, keep doing what you do, and keep making the sport. Don't give up. And this will pay off in the future. Yeah. I really admire you because you speak very well and I understand you as well. And throw this difficult for me to express myself like that. <laughs> no, it's it's not so it's not that easy. It's not that easy. It needs a lot of practice and I think I sometimes I think I'm a little crazy because I repeat and repeat and repeat in my mind in my mind a lot of phrases, conversations and words. Uh songs etc etc so that is what maybe makes me <laughs> to have a lot of vocabulary but i don't think i have a, a so much extensive vocabulary so you I are I, inspired I, right <laughs> <laughs> i think i i have a lot to learn and that's what made me uh, sometimes an excuse because i uh, uh, this is so difficult to learn. So, for example, this is for me, the regular verse. Uh, it's a headache for me. It's a headache. Uh, I, I, I think so. And teacher, we had a long conversation with Max. I think it's another level. Yes, I know. And that's good. And I, and I want to... Congratulations to you, both of you guys, because I think this pair match, right? Yes. Match. Because you have a lot of vocabulary words, and maybe as uh, Maximiliano said before, um, it takes work, it takes hours, but this is a call a student by themselves, because the students by themselves are the ones that look for more, they go beyond that you have right now. So you look for more because you want to learn, you want to get your goals. That is speak English, right? So that is why you look for the materials, you look for extra things, you watch television programs, you watch uh, what movies in English or maybe series or maybe listen songs in English, right? But that's, it's something that you have, okay? And that you wish and that you want to do. But if you want to do that and you get just the teacher give you, you are not going to be able to do that because it takes more time. It takes more from your part. Remember that I'm going to give you just a guide, okay? Not all the things that you need, but you need to look for more. It all depends on you guys. That's good. Todo depende de ustedes, este, chicos. Se llama Students por ellos mismos, ¿verdad? Que buscan material extra, ¿verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque tienen la meta, porque quieren y porque tienen el deseo de aprender inglés y hablar lo que es el propósito, ¿verdad? O la meta, ¿verdad? Propuesta. Porque la teacher solamente es un guía. Yo les puedo dar lo gramatical, pero yo no les puedo dar todo lo que está expuesto afuera. Acuérdense que el formal English es gramática y todo lo que se refiere a enseñanza, pero el real life, ¿verdad? Que es allá afuera donde usted se va a exponer al real English, ¿right? Que es en la, el inglés de la calle, ¿right? 
en donde hay slang, hay idioms, hay un montón de cosas. Y dice, esto es extenso, right? Entonces, usted debe de ir por eso. Solamente se las ponemos así, ¿verdad? Pero usted también tiene una buena parte importante en eso, right? en el proceso de aprendizaje. Pero qué bueno, mire, qué interesante me venía contra ahí, pero solo estoy escuchando ya rato, estaba escuchando y qué interesante esta plática. <ríe> ok, congratulations for that. Qué bueno, ahorita salieron, salieron sobrando las preguntas. Me gustó mucho, felicitaciones, los dejo porque voy a checar a los otros grupos. Ok, congrats. Thanks. Thanks, <ríe> bueno. teacher. Sigan, sigan, hablen, hablen, contar que sea en inglés, perfect for me. <ríe> okay. Thank you so much. Hello oh, guys, ¿cómo vamos chicos? Hi teacher. ¿Cómo van? Good. Good, nice. excellent, right? Okay, yes. so did you practice? Yes. Okay, could you tell me some examples, please? Okay. Okay, perfect, go ahead, vamos. What do you do, Edwin? I study in English. Okay. Next. Roberto, where do you work? I work in Haines Brand, El Salvador Sox. Another one, please. Edwin, make a question. Daisy, what, what do you do after work? I, I rest in my house. Okay. Otra para Robert, please. Robert, what what time do you get up? I get up at at um, four four fifty all okay. days. Okay, perfect. Now Robert make a question to JC. JC, where do you go? I go the cinema. Okay, where do you go? I go to the cinema. Okay, perfect. Good. The last one. Edwin, make a JC, please. JC, when do you go to bed? When do you uh, go to bed? I go, I go to bed at 9 p.m. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much, guys. Congratulations. I'm going to <laughs> check the other groups. I'm going to let you some minutes, okay? Thank you so much. Okay. Hello, 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 guys. Como vamos? What's your work? Hello. Finish it. Finish Finish. It, teacher, okay. For, I would like. Ayuda de, uh huh. Con la ayuda de, de, del compañero ahí terminamos ahí. Con ah, okay. Ayuda de Kevin. Perfect. Vaya, pero ahora quiero que me la respondan Excelente. ustedes. Excelente. Alguien que haga la pregunta y alguien que la responda, please. Okay, entonces yo voy a, yo voy a hacer yo las la preguntas. Yeah, tengo excellent. que hacer a Kevin. Sí, así es. That is correct. Okay. What do you do? Okay. Hello? <laughs> Ahí, ahí la, bueno, es que él estaba compartiendo en pantalla, prácticamente él se llenó ahí, ahí sí, como usted lo puede ver. No escuchó, no, no se lo escucha quizá, pero tiene problemas, Kevin. Se me, se me salió, no sé por qué. 
Pero, Ajá. Y ya se salió la cosa y, y yo no la guardé. Espera, permita. Sí, así podríamos hacerlo así, nada más, ¿les parece? Pregúntense, y usted puede responder lo que usted sí. quiera. ¿Verdad? Cortito, no es necesario hacer la gran respuesta. Sí. Vamos poco okay. a poco. What, what do you, what do you do? What do you do? Um, uh, I am not a writer. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Where, where do you work? I work in Hanks Brown and Salvador Socks. Okay. What do you like? Your job? Um, yes, I do. Sometimes. <laughs> okay. What do you do after work? Uh, I go home. Okay. okay. Ahora, Kevin, hágame le preguntas a Héctor. <laughs> De la, de, de la parte de abajo, siempre la misma que le acabo de decir yo a él. De la que usted quiera, que no, no hay problema. Ok. What time do you get up? Uh, I get out in, in, in six I am. Six p.m. Uh, no, what do you do after? What do you do after you get up? I take a, a shower. Mm -hmm. uh, where do you Where do you go? Uh, I go to work in. The morning in Hans Bram. Uh, what do you do in the evening? Uh, I am work. I am work late. Okay, I work late. Or I am working, right? When do you go to bed? Uh, I go to bed. It, it is the twelve, twelve PA. Okay, perfect. Thank okay. you so much. Excelente, niños. Muy bien. Ahora bien, lo único que se nos hace falta es como darle como más rapidez a la pregunta. Un poquito más rápido. Por no ejemplo. Uh, más fluido. Tratar de, de decirlo un poquito más rápido. For example, what do you do? Where do you work? Where do you study? How to do, do you like your job or classes? Or what do you do after school or after work, etc., etc., right? In order okay. to sound more natural, right? Remember that English is like this, right? It sounds like it was just a one word. One word, okay? Es como que sonara okay. como que si fuera una sola palabra, ¿ok? Perfecto. Bueno, okay. los voy a dejar, vamos a salir y vamos a entrar a la sala general, ¿ok? Thank you so much. your practice how was your practice guys
Ok, vale. Chicos, vamos a ver lo que es el tema el cual nos teníamos designado para el día de ahora, chicos, y vamos a empezar con lo que son los adjectives. ¿Y qué son los adjectives? Adjectives are the ones that describe people, right? They are used to describe people, by the way, right? And also, we have some examples here, right? And it says the meaning of colors in the United States. The green one represents the jealous, okay? What is jealous? Celoso, right? Ye yellow represents happy, right? Feliz. Orange represents fun. Red represents exciting. Pink represents loving. Purple represents mysterious. Brown represents friendly. And black represents sad, right? Also gray represents boring. And white represents pure. And also, oh, the, what, the blue? The blue, the light blue represents beautiful, I guess, because it's, the seminar is real, right? Entonces, mira muy bien, okay? Según el color, esto es lo que representa en los Estados Unidos, right? El adjetivo que representa cada uno de ellos, okay? Which word have a positive meaning? Which word have a negative meaning? And what the meanings do these colors have for you? What does your favorite color make you think of, okay? What are the positive meanings that you consider this color has? Yellow, happy. Uh huh. Orange, fun. Orange, fun. Uh huh. And uh, pink, loving. Loving. Okay. Brown, friendly. Friendly. Okay. Perfect. White, pure. Pure. And light blue, beautiful. Beautiful. Okay. Perfect. Those are. Positive adjectives, right? So let's see the negative adjectives. Which Jealous. one have the negative meaning? Jealous, green. The, Jealous. the green one, okay, the green one. What else? And black. Okay, black also, you're right. Hey, boring. Okay, gray, that is boring, right? What else? Purple. Purple also, that, is, that means mysterious, right? What else? Uh, what else? What else? No more? Um, red, I don't know if it's exciting of a good thing, of what kind of exciting. I so, can, uh-huh. So I, I don't know. I don't know in, if it's good or, or if it's bad. bad. Maybe it could be both. It depends on the context that you're talking about. If you're talking about bad things, could be bad. But if you're talking about positive things, could be good, right? It depends. Maybe the, it's for both, right? Positive and I, negative. Maybe. Right. Right. Uh huh. Yes, you're right. Okay, vamos con la siguiente, chicos. Dice, what meanings do these colors have for you? ¿Qué significados? Vaya, acá tenemos un significado que nos expresa qué es lo que se cree en los Estados Unidos. Pero, ¿cuál es el significado, el significado para usted? De cada uno de ellos. Guys, click, 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 <laughs> click, click, click. Me voy a poner a estirarse, ya vi que ya se están bajando esa energía, ¿ok? ¿Te tomaron un cafecito? ¿Te drink coffee? ¿Te you Sometimes. eat something sweet, right? Yes. Yes. Teacher, for me, drinking, it's hope. Ajá, uh -huh. also, right? Also, I, I, I share that opinion. For me, green also means hope. That is esperanza, right? 
in my case, in your case also, right? Mm -hmm. And we share it. And light blue, what represent light blue? Light. Mm -hmm. Light blue, light blue. ¿Qué representa para usted el celeste? Ay. Light blue means, I think, uh, peace of mind. Uh huh. Peace, right? Pass. For me, it's pass also, right? For you guys, it's also that, right? Peace, right? Okay. Vamos con la siguiente. What does it mean the color black for you? It means the same, like in, you know, in the United States. I don't think so. And what do it represent for you? I never have thinking about the colors in this way. Uh -huh. So that's that's why for me black is not sad, but I don't know about the others. But what do you think, guys? Do you consider that black represent darkness or something that is bad? <laughs> ¿Qué que representa oscuridad, algo oscuro, algo malo para ustedes el color negro? If we go to the history box, always black is the meaning of something bad. That is right, but this is the culture that that implements us, right? Yes. Maybe change. Uh, about the country that you are talking about, right? Maybe, right? And also, red, that represents exciting or love? Of love. Love for us, right? But for the United States, it represents exciting. So it changes depending on the cultures that we're talking about, right? And the place that we're talking about. Also, purple. What does it mean for you guys, the purple one? ¿Qué representa el morado para ustedes? ¿Representa el misterio, así como lo dicen en Estados Unidos? Yes or not? No, es en la digna, se me viene a la mente. <laughs> <laughs> when I think in purple comes to my mind dignas, right? <laughs> Something like this, right? Maybe <laughs> Something related with that, right? <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know. That's fine, you're right. Okay, perfect. So let's change the question. Okay, what does your favorite color make you think of? ¿Qué es lo que hace? Oh, primero que todo, what's your favorite color? First, first of all, right? What is your favorite color? I have two favorite colors. Green. Mm -hmm. Black. And black. Mm. Que and... contraste, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I I really do like those colors. They make me feel Mm -hmm. It makes you feel good. Yeah. I think green is a brilliant color, a color that, that makes you, like make you. ¿Cómo diría resaltar? It's light, como bright, right? Como brillar, something like this. Or light, como iluminar, right? This color that makes you look and some mysterious, mysterious, right? 
So you think that black represent mysterious, no purple one, right? Okay, yes. that's your opinion. Okay, JC, what do you think? ¿Qué piensa usted, JC? Um, I I have two 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 colors. Uh, for me, are my favorite. Mm -hmm. uh, this is the red and black. Uh -huh. uh, and when when I I give uh, uh my wife, mm -hmm. I. I give the flowers. I I want to to this are red. Oh, okay. So you like the red one, right? Because yes. it represents love for you. Love, yes, yes. Okay. For my wife. Perfect. And, and about the um, my motorcycle, uh -huh. I prefer in. Uh, Black. Black. Wow. Okay. Perfect. Good. Yeah. Yeah. I like. Okay. That's good. That's your choice, right? What about you, uh, Edwin? I have two favorite colors. Mm -hmm. uh, black and white. Black and white. Why? Mm -hmm. But for me, color is color. No represent nothing. Mm -hmm. Just for color, right? Just for color. <laughs> okay, perfect. Good. I respect your opinion. Okay. Okay. Thank you so much. What about you, Gavin? What do you think? Do you like black and, and white uh, or do you like another yo one? Creo, yo creo que el blanco. The white Porque one. Siento que hace juego con mi corazón. <gasps> <laughs> oh my goodness. <laughs> Se me iluminó la mente. <laughs> Se me <vino> pure. <laughs> okay, that's good. Excellent. Eso es bueno. Si es... Usted es una persona así, ¿verdad? Pues que bueno, me alegro mucho por usted. Entonces, a le gusta el plan. That's it. Yes, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Qué bueno, me gusta el blanco porque combina con todo eso. Okay, perfect. Good. Okay, Hector, what do you think? What colors do you like? And what does they, they what do they mean for you? Your favorite color is uh, red, uh, white, uh, brown is black and, and, and green. Mm -hmm. Why? Why? Por qué? In combination the the, the color and vestimenta it could combine. Ah, because, example, it's, because it's elegant, right? Ah, yeah, because it's elegant. For example, uh, black, uh, red, uh, black, uh, white. Uh, for example, uh, black is yellow, etc. Uh-huh. Ok, perfect. Thank you so much. ¿Alguien más que quiera opinar acerca del color? Robert, Charlie. Nobody. I think like I think like Edwin. Colors is colors. So they represent just colors, right? They represent yes. nothing in special, right? Okay. Nothing is Okay, perfect. That's your opinion. That's good, right? And we respect that. Okay. I think, I think um, right now we are breaking some some rules that make that that were made. For mm -hmm. example, sometime before, sometimes uh, how do I say? It? Uh a part of youth. Okay, long, long time ago, right? 
un tiempo atrás, o mucho tiempo atrás, ¿verdad? Ago, if you wear a pink shirt, mm -hmm. it have a bad impression of you. Because, okay. because people think you have another orientation. But right now, that rule is is no more. A lot of a lot of men right now use pink shirts that are that look so good with, for example, a black a black a black pants and mm -hmm. a pink. It looks perfect. Okay, so yeah. the combination, so as a, as a, your partner says before, right? Long times uh, ago, maybe they consider that because of the culture that they implement us or they show us, right? Or they touch us, right? right? Teach us or taught us, right? But in this case, in the future, that changed totally because the thinking that we have right now is another one, right? Yes. So the people that already know tend to criticize you because the color that you use, because it's something normal right now. But always think, for the culture, right? Uh, and I think for most of the people right now, like Robert said, colors are colors. Uh, it doesn't mean something if you wear a pink shirt. Uh -huh. And you could wear a black, uh, a black shirt, a gray shirt, whatever color you want. Exactly. And it's right. good. Okay. And it's good. It's good. Yes, your your opinion is good. Okay, okay. You have a good point. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. But chicos, alguien más quiere opinar? Miren, estas discusiones se hacen para que usted se pueda desenvolver, ¿verdad? Para que usted pueda sacar, ¿verdad? Y empezar a fluir con con el vocabulario. Okay, vamos. De poco a poco vamos. Acuérdense que el proceso es siempre de lento, lento. Después vamos a prof perfeccionando la técnica y vamos y vamos y vamos cada vez que aprendemos algo. Ese es el proceso, ¿ok? Pero usted tiene que aventarse. ¿verdad? Aventémonos al palo, como dice, ¿verdad? Como los pollitos. A caer, ¿verdad? Entonces, este, es, un, es parte del proceso para que usted pueda cruzar la barrera entre me da pena hablar, tengo miedo a hablar porque me tengo miedo de equivocarme. ¿verdad? Pero no, el equivocarse es de ser humanos y es el proceso de aprendizaje. Y lo tenemos que hacer. Es mejor equivocarnos ahorita y que nos corrijan a tener esa equivocación y no saber si lo pudimos hacer o no, si podemos hacer algo más. Entonces, es bueno que usted, pues, démosle, intentémosle, ¿verdad? Cambiemos eso, ¿verdad? Pasemos esa línea de no quiero hablar, ¿ok? O tengo miedo de hablar, please. ¿Ok? I motivate you guys. Thank you so much. Bueno, amigos, entonces estamos con esta... Última conversation, right? Who help me to say this conversation? Short conversation, please. Volunteers. Or I shoot it. Victims. 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 And I right? teach it. Okay, perfect. Good. Vamos. Who else? Me, teacher. Okay, perfecto. Este, ¿Qué más le ayuda? ¿Quién me ha ayudado, Carlos? Max. Me. Me. Ok, perfect. Go ahead. Oh, look at those earrings, Maria. They're perfect for you. These red ones? I'm not sure. No, the yellow ones. Oh, these. Mm. Yellow isn't really a good color for me. Well, that necklace isn't bad. Which one? That blue one right there. How much it is it? It's thirty-two dollars. That's that expensive. Hey, let me get it for you. It's your birthday present. Happy birthday. Okay, perfect. Le va a regalar algo a Maximilian. Okay, Max. Una cartera, dígale a wallet, please. The brown one, okay? Cuando nosotros decimos one, estamos diciendo la azul. 
la roja, la café, la verde, ¿ok? Entonces usted puede decir el color y luego dice one, si es una, ¿verdad? O si es más de una, usted puede decir once, ¿right? Como vemos acá, se fija. ¿Se acuerdan cuando le estaba diciendo cuál? Es? Eh, the red one, les dije, ¿verdad? O the red one, o the purple one. Entonces usted es cuando usted está diciendo, mira aquel, ¿verdad? ¿Cuál es? Ah, aquel, el morado, o el rojo, el verde. Entonces es así como nosotros ocupamos la palabra one. The yellow ones. Or maybe the, what was the other? Which one is it? ¿Cuál es? ¿Ok? Entonces esa es la palabra que nos permite decir cuál de todos. ¿verdad? Cuando tenemos una variedad de cosas y necesitamos escoger una. Para referirnos a esa, ¿verdad? Entonces decimos el color primero y luego decimos one. The red one, the yellow one, the pink one, the green one. Es como cuando estamos ocupando también camisetas o cuestiones así que estamos escogiendo, ¿verdad? Entonces usted puede utilizar eso también, ¿ok? Eso es para cuando vaya a comprar una tienda o se vaya a elegir algún producto, también lo puede hacer con eso, ¿ok? Vaya, okay. ahora bien, ¿de qué se trata la, la, la conversación? A ver. Chicos, quiero que ustedes me digan, ¿verdad? Así que traten de decirlo así como ustedes puedan, lo más simple posible. ¿De qué se trata? En resumidas cuentas, de lo que usted entendió, de lo que pudo captar de la conversación. Está como viendo qué accesorio le queda mejor, o el color del uh -huh. parís. The events, right? They are talking about access, accessories, right? That you are going to use. ¿Verdad? Or maybe the girl, maybe the boy, right? Uh, maybe uh, they want to buy a necklace. A necklace is como una garantía o un collar, ¿verdad? Right? Earrings, right? Aritos y todo eso. Or the rings, but could be, right? Un anillo, un arito, ¿verdad? Et cetera, et cetera, right? So they are choosing one of them. So that is why I told you that. This is the vocabulary for you guys. By the way, guys, what time is it? It's 5, five p.m. It's Or... 5 to 5 p.m., right? 5 para las 5, right? If I'm not mistaken, right? Bueno, niños, miren, se nos fue el tiempo y no vimos lo de la parte gramatical, ¿verdad? Pero en resumidas cuentas vamos a ver lo que son los comparativos y también los este, quantifiers, ¿verdad? ¿Se acuerdan de los quantifiers? Solamente para recordar, ¿qué son los quantifiers? Los quantifiers son aquellos que nos permiten eh, expresar una cantidad, pero no especificar exactamente cuánto es esa cantidad. Por ejemplo, tenemos how much, how many, ¿verdad? En caso de que vamos a hacer una pregunta, tenemos some, tenemos any, tenemos many, tenemos little, tenemos few, ¿verdad? And some of them are quantifiers. Y también, chicos, vamos a ver lo que son los demonstrative pronouns. ¿Y qué son los demonstrative pronouns? Aquí es que nos dice qué tan cerca o qué tan lejos está algo de nosotros. Estos temitas ya los vimos más o menos. Más o menos se recuerdan de ellos. Yes. A little. Voy a preparar algo más para la próxima clase, ¿ok? Vaya, entonces, los quantifiers, como les decía, ¿verdad? son aquellos que nos permiten decir, expresar cantidad, pero no especificar cuánto exactamente en números. Sabemos que hay una cantidad, pero no sabemos exactamente cuánto. Por ejemplo... How much is this necklace? Okay, how much? How much is para not countable nouns, ¿verdad? Entonces, como nos estamos refiriendo al dinero, ¿verdad? Y el dinero no es un countable nouns, por eso utilizamos how much, ¿verdad? Si fuera de cantidades exactas, como diciendo, ¿cuántas manzanas tenés o cuántos aritos tenés? How many earrings do you have? How many, right? ¿Cuántos? Entonces ahí especifica uno, dos, tres, cuatro, right? Entonces por eso es que ocupamos esto, ¿verdad? Una review de todo lo que hemos visto de los eh, contable nouns, no contable nouns y los demonstrative pronouns que los vamos a ver 
la próxima clase. Voy a preparar un material para abarcar esos tres temitas así en brief, para que los podamos recordar y que podamos pues ver la siguiente sección, que sería la sección 3, ¿verdad? En el cual vamos a hablar acerca de accesorios, ¿verdad? O vestuario. ¿Ok? Y vamos a introducir un nuevo okay. vocabulario. Ok, perfecto, chicos. Preguntitas, ¿cómo van con las tareas? I already finished the midterm. Ok, ¿quién no ha terminado el midterm, guys? ¿Everybody finished? Yes, I think. Ok, perfecto. Entonces no tengo ningún mm -hmm. problema con ustedes, chicos. Estamos súper bien. Me gusta. Seamos responsables en las tareas. Ok, entonces tenemos dos minutitos más para finalizar. Preguntitas. ¿A qué hora nos vamos a ir? <ríe> ¿Cuándo tenemos la próxima clase, niños? Monday. Monday. Next Monday, right? Ok, perfect. Good. Entonces, vaya, un minutito nada más, chicos. ¿Le dejamos pasar por el tiempo o nos despedimos? Monday, ya me quiero ir. Tuesday. Ya me quiero ir, dice por ahí. <ríe> ya lo puedo desesperar. A Kevin ya lo voy a <ríe> Kevin, Kevin, ya, ya lo voy a despachar. Que no se preocupe. No, mire, voy a... Sí, sí, aquí platicando, right? Les voy a dejar un video para que podamos reforzar la parte de este... de lo que hemos estado hablando, ¿verdad? Si no, pues, dejo el video de los quantifiers para que podamos recordar un poquito de eso y que el otro tema sea nada más los demostrative pronouns para no saturarnos demasiado, ¿les parece? Ok. Yes. Ok. Perfect. Good. Entonces, ya se los voy a mandar al WhatsApp, niños. Pues no me queda más que agradecerles por estar aquí, ¿verdad? Siempre pendientes de la clase, ¿verdad? Y aprendiendo mucho. Y les deseo un feliz resto del día. Nos vemos la próxima semana. Thank you so much and bye-bye. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye, teacher. Bye-bye, take care. Bye -bye. Take care.